Today you're going to complete warm-ups 17 and 18. Let's divide our warm-up page in your sketchbook. And use a different pencil. Okay, so let's start with 17. Close on that. Alright, so let's we're gonna start first. We're doing a flagpole day. We're gonna start first with the top of our flagpole. Let's pull like a double line there to give it some thickness. Now we're gonna make our flag wave. So we're gonna start here and we're going to curve almost like we're doing this. So if we could think that we're gonna draw an ellipse here and then stack another one here. Okay, so that's the idea that we'll pull this way and then onto the top of this one. So almost like a squish down S form. Okay, now we're going to do this. This back line that goes here is going to be where our flag is actually curved and waving. We're going to do a vertical line here and a vertical line here. Now, technically they need to be the same length so that our flag is the same width we're going to do match this curve here okay and then we're looking for this length because this one has to be above this and we're going to match this curve here so this doesn't connect down here we come up and we draw this curve here and we're going to get rid of our guidelines and then we can put whatever you want anything you do think that you've got curved lines here to guide and then curved lines that go this way to guide. So if I was going to do, and, and there would be probably something missing in the back. So if I was going to do, um, I'm going to do my last name. So it would be P and I'm going to do sort of oversized letters. You can do your own name and then I'd have probably a piece of an S going right here, and then the S would finish there, my E would be coming probably out from behind this thing, like this, and my Y would be here, okay, and there is our flag that is waving, and if we give it a little bit of accent on the edges, it'll sort of hint that we've actually got movement going on, okay? So that is 17. Now let's do 18. For 18, we're going to be doing stacked cylinders. We're actually going to be doing four stacked cylinders. So let's start here. But once you understand the process, this is easy. So we're going to start here. And we're going to do our curve on top, curve below. And we're just going to construct our first cylinder and it's going to be small and we're going to get larger as we go so here's the first one curve on the bottom match that from the base points out we're going to put our points and remember we're pulling the arc below and if we think that there could be a straight line here we're pulling the same arc above so it's going to look like it's passing behind this one and then we're going to do vertical vertical pull a curve, okay, and then we're going to come out from these points, one, two, and just repeat the same thing. So I'm going to pull my bottom arc here, my top arc passes behind, but it's like a match when I think about it. So it would continue through, my brain sort of lets it think about that, even though I'm picking up my pencil. I'm going to pull this on the below, and then I'm going to go out again. So from this point out, this point out, and I just keep repeating. So same thing, this is going to be my ellipse pulling through the bottom, and then around the back, true vertical, true vertical, pull my last one. Okay, now we're going to shade this thing and add some details. So let's add, let's add our details first. I'm just going to add some icing here and here. I'm not going to go overboard. 
going to definitely put in a ground line. So put that in somewhere up here. And then I'm going to do this. So I'm going to be shading these to look rounded. I'm going to do curved hatching around these sides. So these are all curving. And I'm going to do darker on the edge. So it's going to be vertical lines, tight, and then loosen. Vertical lines, tight, and then loosen. Tight, and then loosen. Tight, and then loosen. So our light source is here. And then I'm going to do my cast shadows. Each layer casts a shadow on the next. And then I'm going to put something on the top of my cake. Now, uh, I'm going to put, let's see, I'm going to put just like some candles. You can put whatever you like. You could make this into a big wedding cake, but I'm just going to do candles at the top. And that is it. You can blend dark on the edge, fading as it comes around. Cast shadow, cast shadow. This just softens the pencil lines. And that's it. You can submit.